Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Praise be to Allah, the nourish and the sustainer of the whole universe, and the peace and blessings be upon his final prophet and messenger Muhammad. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hello, everybody. We are still reading from the book which is written by Imam Ibn Baz. Rahimahullah Ta'ala. Allah may have mercy on him who died 1419. The book which and the title the correct belief and what opposes it. We stopped uh, at the reality or the meaning of worship, ibadah. What do we mean by worship? What's the reality? What's the meaning of the word worship? The reality meaning of this worship is to single Allah out in everything that his servants worship him with, such as supplication, fear, hope, prayer, fasting, sacrificing, making oaths, and the other types of worship with full submission, while is fearing his punishment and hoping for his reward, having complete love for him, and humbling oneself to his grandness. This is the meaning of the word worship or ibadah. So ibadah must be to Allah alone. We must consider in every type of our ibadat or worship, we must consider and be careful about the oneness of Allah, monotheism, tawheed Allah in every kind of our worship. Uh, the kinds of worship are numberless. Some people think that Worship uh, is uh, regarded only with uh, doing salah or establishing salah. But there are some other kinds of worshiping. For example, dua is one of the um, important kinds of worship. It's praying Allah or saying dua when you are in uh, distress, in uh, a dire need for Allah. You need to ask Allah to give you so and so and to forgive you and to um, uh, forgive your signs or to uh, save you from something that you fear from. This is one of the uh, serious things that you be careful about. Don't say dua to any person beside Allah. Whatever that person is, whether this is an angel, is a prophet, a messenger of Allah, is one of the saints or the pious people, well, every one of them, although they are righteous people, although they are good people, every one of them has the right to be worshipped with Allah. And when you make dua for any one of them, ask any one of them, I think that only Allah who obtain it, or only Almighty Allah who does it. This kind of dua or kind of uh, prayer should be for Allah alone. Don't make any, uh, any ascription. Don't ascribe any person with Allah, whether he is a righteous man or a, a, an impious man or whatever it is. So, doing ibadah for Allah alone is... A very important thing that Allah have uh, mentioned in many verses in the Holy Quran. For example, in chapter under the name of Zumar, uh, verse number two and three. So worship Allah, making the worship sincerely for Him alone. Verily, to Allah belongs the pure, sincere religion or worship. Also, in the chapter under the name Isra. Verse number 23. Allah said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord has, cre has decreed that the worship, that you worship none but Him. So, Imam Ibn Ba said further that, having faith in Allah also entails, believing in everything that He has ordered, and made obligatory upon you, upon his servants, such as the five five outer pillars of Islam, which are 
testifying that there is no deity has right to be worshipped except Allah and that Muhammad is a messenger of Allah number two establishing the prayers and here we mean by the prayers of five regular prayers that Muslims should do every day and also there are extra prayers that are not obligatory but the obligatory are the five regular prayers that Muslims should do every day three giving the zakat for those who have those who are rich who have a lot of money that is more than what they need uh, and this uh, also has it is on details four fasting in Ramadan and five making the pilgrimage had uh, to the sacred uh, most to the sacred house of Allah for those who are able to perform it some people make a very big mistake in doing what is called pilgrimage or Hajj and circling around other house, houses that other than Al Kaaba, the house of Allah. And this is one of the ways of shirk. You have to be careful about that. Then Imam Ibn Ba'ath said that testifying that there is no deity has a right to be worshipped except Allah requires that worship be performed purely for Allah alone and negates it from everyone beside him. And this is also important to negate it from everyone else beside him. Because some people think that I do worship Allah alone. I never commit any shirk. I don't ascribe any partner to Allah. But this is not enough. This is not enough. You have to prove witness that none other than Allah deserve to be worshipped. None other than Allah deserve to be worshipped. This is also important. That is what is intended by the statement La ilaha illallah. For its meaning is there is no deity that has the right to be worshipped except Allah. So everything that is worshipped beside Allah such as a human being you see some people uh, worship human beings as they think that these are uh, righteous people or pious people saints good worshippers and these good worshippers actually Allah loves all of them so that uh, if Allah loves all of them this means that they are close to Allah if they are close to Allah, this make, make that when we submit to them, when we ask them, when we uh, say uh, prayers to them, they will get us closer to Allah. All these are wrong things. And as we said, these things which uh, the contemporary uh, polytheist or disbeliever do nowadays is similar to what have been done or had been done in the days of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu or before him in the days of ignorance before the coming of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu so such as human being some people worship human being or an angel some others worship angels uh, or jinn and actually many of the, of the policies those who worship things other than Allah actually or really they were shipping jinn or anything else uh, they are worshipped wrongly the every deity beside Allah worship this worship is wrongly why because none of them has the right to be worshipped because none of them is the creator of the whole universe the one who is worshipped truthfully Allah alone he says that's because Allah is the truth only true God and what they invoke on beside him is falsehood okay uh, I think uh, this is uh, quite enough today inshallah next time we will continue I ask our God to bless all of us Thank you very much.